morning ladies and welcome to start week stamping sorry i missed last week we're just so busy with everything going on although i had a mega burst a mega busy weekend this weekend my middle child has turned 17 and it was his, her, their birthday yesterday and um, we spent the day at Carfest North, which was amazing. I got to see McFly, uh, which um, when my daughter was younger, she used to play it non-stop. But it did mean I knew all the words and actually they were really good. Uh, so I really enjoyed that. Uh, and then it was the Happy Monday, so obviously there was lots of swearing. <laughs> <laughs> but that was lovely. Well, not the swearing, but the music was brilliant. So, Stamping Up have changed the way they do their kits. So I thought I'd show you on this morning. So this is the No Matter the Weather card. Um, so their kits aren't in the catalogue. Uh, they're only online and they are only for as long as stocks last. And it's a, a new experiment they're trying. They're doing two levels of kits. One is just sticking, um, which is, I think, £11. And then this one is 18 And this is an all-inclusive and includes stamping. The other is all-inclusive. There's just no stamping. Um, so, and this one's no matter the weather. So, uh, proper unboxing. I have not looked at this at all. So, uh, this arrived the other day. So very appropriate, whatever the weather, with the way things are going at the moment with the weather. Um, the one thing about uh, carpet yesterday is my face is a little red. Clearly not enough sunscreen. But we did have a lovely time. It was really good. So, right. Okay. So you get a stamping spot and in the heat, my glue's come off. It's on there now. So that's a basic grey stamping spot that's a really useful one useful one to have um uh, it's cause it, being a little bit softer than the black it's not obviously not as harsh so uh really these kits are really good for people who are starting out and thinking about starting stamping but haven't actually got very much at all so i'm just going to pop that off there so okay and here's the stamp so let love grow I've got some little um, texture stamps here. I've got a bit here. I've got a, a white one. I can pop it on. There we go. So, and some hearts. No matter the weather, we're in this together. Uh, wishing you brighter days ahead. Oh, that's a nice one. And then lots of sort of sandy texture, some clouds, some little. I don't know if they're stars actually or if they're spots. And then a flower. I'm intrigued now with that. No, I think they're just splodges, which is also useful to have. Okay, so you get your stamp set and you've got your ink, and then what else do we get? So, and then everything else is packed in. You get your lovely box, which is great for keeping everything. So, put that to one side, so we can see what we've got. Right. Okay, so it all comes shrink-wrapped in plastic again. I think this is largely to keep all the paper away from the stamping spot, just in case it opens. Um, so. Right, so we've got different cards, different sizes of cards, because we've got different envelopes. So we've got a um, one of the basic stamping blocks. Um, so it's not as thick as a normal one, and they've done that to keep the price down. So this is the normal size D. And that's the, the one that you get you, which is great for starting out. Um, but I do recommend you get the full size one because it is a lot more comfortable to hold. Uh, and also with it being thicker, you get, uh, it's easier to get an even image. You can with this one, um, but these are better. So, so there's our stamping block. Oh, some twine. We've got some twine and, oh, we've got some little raindrops. So these are glue dots. I know a lot of people when they open their kits don't know what these are. These are double-sided glue dots. So they're for sticking things on. Obviously you can use these or you can use your own glue and keep those for other things. And then we've got some little raindrops. So that's another envelope. I got red ink on it while I was doing my class at the weekend. Don't know whether that's any better. Should we try something dark? There we go. Don't know. Let's have a look. Can you see that? 
Yes, you can. So we've got some little dots here. And then some gorgeous raindrops. Aren't they cute? And they're clear, so they'll take on the colour of whatever you've put them on. So I'm liking those. Fabulous. Also, none of these things are available in the main catalogue. They are just available as kits. So, and then the twine. That's a lovely granny apple green, I'd say. And you've got quite a lot of twine on there. So we can make some nice cards with that. Put those all back in their little bags because I'm not obsessed about these things at all. And then the other thing you get, actually, is a full sheet of normal dimensionals. Now, I have to confess on previous kits, you got different dimensionals and they just weren't as nice um, as the proper ones. But these are just the, the ones they usually use. Um, so they're, they're really, really nice. The others were, they were just thicker and they were cut. They'd cut, they were cut through the backing paper, so they were really difficult to get both sides off. Um, so, uh, so full pack of dimensionals, and then we get these card fronts. How cute is that? So I suspect whatever the weather is meaning rain. <laughs> so I've got one, two, three of that one. Oh, look at those clouds. So I've got one, two, three of the grassy clouds and then I think we've got puddles and sky here so i've got one two three of those so how many is that so three six nine cards to make okay so there's nine cards on its own when you have the space and then the envelopes now i thought i saw different size envelopes but clearly i didn't because these are all the same size oh look they're lined so Three in. Hmm, I'm wondering what colour that would be. Yeah, probably pale papaya. I would have thought that looks very daffodil delight, and that looks shaded spruce. I think. So there's your nine envelopes to go with your cards, and then we've got our card bases. So, and they're nice, they're really good quality. Another thing I would say about um, some of the kits in the past have not been as thick as I would like. Um, but these are really good quality white cards to go with your backgrounds. And then, look at these. <laughs> How cute are these? So these are not stickers. And you get one, two, three sheets. So one a sheet for each three cards of each design. Uh, but you don't have to use them as they're instructed. Um, so how pretty are those? And look at the little bunny rabbits. Very spring themed. We've got the daffodils and the wellies and everything. So they are really cute. And we've also got some banners and circles for our sentiments. So you can stamp on these and um, that'll give you your sentiments to pop on your card. So, aha, I was thinking, where's the instructions? <laughs> and the instructions are here at the bottom. So those are the three cards you're making. I'm trying to not get the glare from the light on here. Um, so I'm going to stand up so I can actually see what's on camera. So yeah, you're not getting the glare. So look, that one's got some flowers on and um, the welly sticker and some twine and then whatever the weather we're in here together let love grow that's nice with a lot of the uh, well is used as a vase and a tiny little rabbit there and then oh i see you so you put one of the pairs of wellies on the girl holding the shopping and then she's got three sets of wellies um this side and another set of wellies that side so on this one they stamp the sentiment and she's also stamped the rain Okay, this one's stamped sentiments and she's put little droplets on this one. And then again, there's, there's either the round ones or the droplets on there as well. How nice is that? So now they did say when they were publicising this that they have changed the way um, that they make up the instructions. I've just noticed as well, there is actually, you can watch detailed instructions for this kit when you scan the QR code. So there's a QR code on the back, scan that and it'll take you to the Stamping Up website for instructions on the kit. But there are also 
instructions here too. So, right, so it's quite, it is quite detailed actually. So it's quite clever the way they've done this. So they've done the little dots on the puddle and then they've shown you where to put the dimensionals on your rabbit and your um, wellies, but put a glue dot on the heart. Showed you, showed you how to stamp and put the dimensionals on there and tie a bow. Put your glue dots, I'd put far more glue dots on it than that. <laughs> you know me, I'd get my white glue out and glue that on. Um, and then it just fits on the card like that. So, and then again with this one. So it's really detailed instructions just telling you what to do, which is brilliant. And then that's the last one. And it is, yes, yeah, she's put raindrops on those two. She's stamped clouds. I've just noticed the clouds have been stamped onto that one as well. So, uh, yeah, so it's really good. It's really detailed instructions. There's even a ruler on them. I don't know if you can see there. A ruler on the side. And part of it in inches, part of it in centimetres. How cool is that? They thought of everything. So... How brilliant. So I think I'm just going to pop one of the cards together just to show you how easy it is. So I'm going to follow the instructions and leave those there. And I'm going to do the one with the two wellies. So I need this. And I need to get the dappled stamp. <coughs> And I'm actually going to use my full size basic grey, as soon as I have it. <clears throat> I keep these for like if I'm going travelling, I want to take a car, uh, some stamping with me. Or if I have a new customer, sometimes I'll give them a, a spare little spot to start with if they're new to stamping. So, and I've just positioned this on the block and randomly stamp. The basic grey is actually um, the old-fashioned felt stamp. Just going to grab <sighs> See, this is what happens when I don't prep properly. <laughs> We're still using the answer sheet from the physics paper I marked from a friend. Um, so I'm just going to grab a scrap of paper so I can go off the edges. to turn it around there and just pop it on there and then just do a, a bit of a chunk on there okay so we've got some random dots on the gray there and what I like if you ever buy non-stamping non-stamping up stamps god forbid and they are clear particularly in England they won't be photopolymer they tend to be not necessarily true, some of them are, but only a few. They tend to be acrylic and they need conditioning. You have to wash them first and everything. Whereas I've just taken that straight out of the bag, stamped beautifully. So, uh, quality pays. <laughs> or quality costs, should I say. Right, okay, so I've done my stamping and now I need to get my dimensionals, a pair of wellies and a bunny rabbit. So, the other thing I tend to do with kits as well is I'll take them away with me obviously because it's <laughs> nice and easy um but i also um sort of jig them about so i wouldn't normally i do one where i'm following the instructions and then the rest of them i'll i'll twiddle about and swap them around and change them about a bit so that i don't end up with the nine identical cards i end up with a few different ones well three three lots of three identical cards so. 
So there's a little space in the grey where you're going to put your wellies. I'm going to put them on there. I think I did. So I'm just going to put them in the space. There we go. Then get my bunny rabbit. And they've just put they've just put one on his head, and I was thinking, why have they only done that? But that's because his bottom is on top of the wellies, so that will hold his other half up. She's got a little bunny playing in the rain and then a little heart that's on a glue dot so I can show you how these glue dots work. So I'm just popping out my heart, lots of hearts. Oh, those are the flowers that come out of the wellies, aren't they? Very nice. So I'll put my heart there and so. Now in theory, you don't even need a pokey tool to use these. So I've peeled it off the sheet. See, he's still having fun with my nail. Pop it on the back like that and then peel off the backing. And it slides around all over the place. I've got a glue dot. Oh, I've left the glue dot on the paper. Actually, that might even be easier because then you can place your heart on the glue dot. I wonder if that's what it's supposed to do. And now the glue dot's on your heart. Oh, that's good. Maybe they've changed those too. And then I've just put the heart. There we go. And then... I'm going to put... Oh, we've got to put the droplets on. So, which, I need a bow. Do my bow first. Now they've given you measurements, so I'm just going to tie one. Spotted the end before. There it is. So just going to do a, a most appropriately a bunny ears bow. So turn it over. Hold all the ends. but never mind. And that's just stuck on a glue dot as well. Why is my bow so twisty? Why is it? I do perfect bows most of the time, do one on camera and rubbish. So let's try again with these glue dots. So, I'm going to peel. Now this time the toppings come off, <laughs> the glue dots come off with the top, so maybe that was just the first one was a bit of a, a novelty. So I've stuck the glue dot on my bow. Peel off the back. I must admit, for things like twine, glue dots are about the best for sticking them down. So I'm just going to stick that at the edge there. There we go. I'm trimming my ends. to one side and I'll get my banner so they suggest you use this one for this now they've actually given you one two three four five and you only need three so there's a you know if, if it doesn't work first time you have got spares and also you could still use it the other way up so not as pretty as with the uh, 
that. Mm. Are we still with pale papaya? I bet somewhere on the instructions it will tell me what colour they are. <laughs> okay, let's put that back on its sheet. And as I say, if you pop your stamp down straight, put your block on it straight, have your sentiment piece straight, it should stamp straight. <laughs> put my block back, <laughs> my stamp pad back. How tidy am I being? <laughs> so we didn't actually get in till like half eleven last night, so I'm a little tired. I'm no good at this late nights anymore. So let love grow. That's a really nice sentiment. Because it will if it's meant to. There we go. cleaning pad down right so and then this goes on dimensionals and then I must admit um, in fact Sarah Douglas who is or Sarah Douglas who is our um, she's president chair whatever of the company she's the boss uh, she's taken over managing director there you go she's taken over from her mum and uh, she doesn't like the glue dots <laughs> So, um, but I think putting a liquid glue in these kits will take it to a whole new level of packaging and cost. So they're stuck with the glue dots. And they are useful because, you know, you can take them on planes and there's no liquid in them. Uh, so, uh, you know, they have their uses. I'm taking those off and I'm just going to pop that over the bow there, just with the bow to one side. There we go. And then we're going to scatter some, they're just the little round ones on here, oops, and again, so I'm not using my pokey tool, just to show you how to do it without, although I'm not very good at it without, that another one, yep, so I'm, I'm just going to put five on like she's done, or like the designer has done. <laughs> Stuck to my nail. And as you can see, the, the sort of glistening on the blue. Three. Um, when you, if you are new to card making, when we, we design things, we tend to put them in groups of odd numbers. Obviously, there's one pair of wellies. <laughs> Sorry. Um, there we go. No, we don't. It's still on my finger. Is that going to come off my finger? It's well and truly stuck to my finger. Oh, there it goes. So, so we tend to put them in sort of, you know, you put three on or five on. Um, because the, the eye prefers that. The eye likes odd numbers. And as an ex-optometrist, I'm afraid I have no idea why. So, like I say, I missed that lecture. <laughs> right, so now we take one of our white card blanks and with the the dip at the top, so there's like a lump on the scoring and a dip, the dip goes actually on the outside because that's where the card has been stretched. So it won't um, tear or break when you fold it. And then I am going to cheat. <laughs> I've got my Tombow here, so I'm just going to pop some liquid glue. Um, you can add a liquid glue to your order if you're ordering a kit. Um, it's very reasonable. <sighs> she says, except she cannot remember how much it is. And he says, page 167 on your catalogs. If you've not got a catalogue, give me a shout, I'll let you have one. Page 167, the Tombow glue is £4.50 and or you can use the double-sided tape which is £7.50. 
50 but that's refillable the refills are five pounds so if you're just thinking of trying it out then probably the wet glue is where you want to go because it's only four pound fifty um and it is my favorite glue to be honest i prefer wet glue to, to um now i need the contrast <laughs> so and then you just pop that right in the middle Okay, so I'm just going to slide it, and that's the nice thing as a beginner, is you can slide it around a little bit. So I'm not happy that that's, that's not straight, so I'm just going to lift that up and reposition a bit straighter. There we go. Okay, there we go. So that's our first card out of the kit. Um, how cute is that? So very professional looking. And then you could use one of the sentiments inside if you want or just write your own message. And then that would go in, what do we think, which envelope? We're gonna put this one in. Um, I think I'd put it in this one because then that goes with your colors there. So how beautiful is that? Okay, well, I hope you've enjoyed this morning and uh, I shall see you again next week. Bye.